Does the selling of XRP as a security mean that XRP is a security? By the way, XRP's average transaction fee remains under one cent as Bitcoin's average transaction fee soars to $20. Notably, the SEC recently charged Bitrix, alleging that Algo is a security, but Coinbase has not delisted Algo as it did with XRP, raising questions. Also, Ripple and Wales move 218 million XRP as price recovers. Finally, the XRP price is expected to hit $3.47 in a few weeks' time, but the question remains this, is XRP undervalued? Stick with me till the end to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP to stand the chance of participating. All you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP and the winner will be announced on the 15th of May. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse joined the conversation with entrepreneur Jason Calacanis over XRP as a security debate, with pro-XRP lawyer John Deaton also disagreeing with the investor. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of the Ripple blockchain, recently confirmed that the company would have expended $200 million by the end of the multi-year legal battle with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Jason Calacanis, an American entrepreneur and angel investor, argued that it would have made more economic sense for Ripple to have registered XRP as a security in line with the SEC's claims and abide by the rules like everyone else. However, Ripple CEO Garlinghouse appears utterly displeased with Calacani's suggestions, accusing him of being ignorant of security laws. He considered it embarrassing and funny, adding that there is no framework to register digital assets such as XRP in the US. He further said that it had become a habit of making provocative statements and trolling topics we lack knowledge about. The pro-XRP attorney John E. Deaton also attacked Calacanis, noting that to claim Ripple sold XRP as a security is entirely different from saying XRP is a security. According to Deaton, XRP is a line of software code that cannot be registered under the currently available laws in the United States. The American investor's idea that Ripple should have played along like other industry participants did not sit well with the pro-XRP attorney. Deaton asked him where other proof-of-stake blockchains like Ethereum, Cardano, Algorand, and Stellar Lumens did their registration. Yesterday, while the SEC chairman, Gary Gensler, thanked agency staff for their hard work and regulatory oversight, crypto lawyer Deaton requested the SEC chairman to stop protecting American citizens in their dealings with cryptocurrency. The lawyer's appeal was particularly significant as SEC, instead of protecting investors, is busy ending the crypto business in the U.S. SEC's continuous regulatory crackdown on several crypto companies, including Ripple, Coinbase, Bittrex, and Paxos, has raised serious questions. Furthermore, Bitcoin, the world's number one cryptocurrency, saw an increase in its average transactional fee from $19.20 per TX on May 7th to more than $30 per TX on May 11th, while Ripple's average transactional fees remain around $0.0002. Bitcoin average transaction fee is the average fee in USD charged when a Bitcoin transaction is processed and confirmed by a miner. During periods of network congestion, the Bitcoin average transaction fee may increase. According to data obtained from the charts, Bitcoin's average transaction fee soared by more than 50% from $19.20 to $30.90 between May 7th and May 11th. This is the highest level in years. When writing, the Bitcoin average transaction fee was $20.30 from $30.90 yesterday and up from $2.20 precisely one year ago. This represents a minus 34.19% change from yesterday and a 788.2% increase from a year ago. This fee is too high for the crypto community and crypto traders and investors have had many adverse reactions. An increase in Bitcoin activity involving BRC20 transactions and the rise of Bitcoin NFTs may be the reason for the increase in BTC transaction fees. BRC20 is an experimental token standard modeled after Ethereum's ERC20 token standard that allows users to issue and transfer fungible tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain. This part of the industry is gaining popularity, and meme coins like Pepe, which has brought its community members so many gains, is deployed on the BRC20 network. 
XRP has maintained some of its benefits, such as fast transactions, which take 3 to 5 seconds, and low transaction fees, which cost less than 1 cent per transaction on average. The fact that XRP was not designed to be mined is one of the advantages of XRP over BTC because this allows XRP's average transaction fee to be cheaper as it still maintains $0.0002 as its transaction fee. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Paul Grewal, the chief legal officer at Coinbase, recently spoke on the exchange's decision to retain trading activities for Algorand despite the US SEC characterizing it as a security in the charges brought on Bittrex. The fact that Coinbase delisted XRP for this reason but has not done the same for Algo has raised questions. In a recent interview on a crypto law episode, these questions were posed to Growall by attorney John Deaton. In the interview, Deaton highlighted the confusion among XRP proponents concerning Coinbase's approach to reviewing listing decisions. Growall had confirmed that secondary sales of assets do not constitute securities. In response, Deaton noted that Gruel's argument regarding secondary sales also applies to XRP. Deaton further said, XRP was suspended, and then we see a case against Bittrex where the SEC says Algo is also security, and, of course, there isn't a suspension of that. Do you understand where, as XRP holders, they get frustrated or even angry that they are penalized, not that anyone wants you to delist or suspend Algo, just, what's your thought? Responding to the inquiry, Growall disclosed that he understands the XRP community's frustration regarding the situation. I understand where folks are coming from, and I also understand where it can feel like there's a double standard that's been applied in a variety of circumstances. Growall further noted that law and circumstances evolve, citing SEC Chairperson Gary Gensler. He emphasized that Coinbase is committed to applying the law and standing up for the rule of law for everyone, which includes XRP holders. According to him, this is why Coinbase filed an amicus brief in Ripple's favor last November. The main point for all of us is that this is a team sport we need to play. We're up against the most well-resourced adversary on the entire planet, that's the US government in the form of the SEC, Growall stressed. He identified that the SEC is not above mistakes in interpreting the law. He further noted that he believes there is a political force behind the recent slew of enforcement, and it is imperative that we all work together and we find our common ground, and we claim our government back for ourselves. Recall that, as previously reported, the chief legal officers of Ripple and Coinbase recently held a professional meeting that triggered speculations of a sort of partnered work between both entities. Despite Gruel's recent comments on why Coinbase has not delisted Algo as it did with XRP, proponents have noted that they are still in the dark. The XRP community has claimed that the Coinbase CLO avoided giving a direct answer to the question. Furthermore, Ripple and other whale addresses recently moved a total of 218 million XRP, worth an average of $81 million, in six different transactions. The movements, which coincided with a recovery campaign recently staged by XRP, mostly involved exchanges such as Bittrex and Bitstamp. The tweet from Whale Alert suggests that Ripple sent XRP to an unknown wallet. However, Bithomp data indicates that the recipient wallet actually belongs to Ripple. This recipient wallet has so far distributed 7.3 million XRP to other addresses. Notably, the recently moved 50 million XRP tokens are some of the assets Ripple released from escrow for this month. As previously reported, Ripple unlocked 1 billion XRP on May 1st as part of its monthly escrow executions. Shortly after the escrow executions, Ripple locked back 700 million XRP and kept 300 million tokens. Responding to an article on the transactions, ProXRP attorney Bill Morgan clarified that Ripple does not dump the assets on the market. It bears mentioning that, for April, only 50 million out of 300 million XRP released were moved from the Ripple wallet, similar to the recent transaction for May. Besides Ripple, other whales moved 168 million XRP in five different transactions. The earliest movement saw 50 million XRP moved from Crypto.com to an unknown wallet. Investigations revealed that the wallet belongs to Binance. These whale movements coincided with a drop in XRP price and an ensuing recovery campaign. The asset dipped by 4.6% on May 8th, its largest intraday decline since April 21st. Despite a drop to a seven-week low of 41 cents, XRP immediately staged a recovery using the 41 cents zone as support. 
XRP recently broke the intraday losing streak that began on May 6, closing yesterday with a meager 0.14% gain. XRP has now increased by 1% in the past 24 hours, with a mission to solidify its position above 43 cents. XRP is currently trading for 43 cents. Now to the big question of the day, is XRP undervalued? Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Dark Defender, a pseudonymous yet notable analyst, recently disclosed that XRP hit a correction target he previously set for the asset. The analyst asserted that XRP is now poised to embark on its next course, which should target from $0.89 cents to $1.42 in the short term and an ultimate price of $3.47 in a few weeks' time. Dark Defender set up three target destinations for XRP using several waves. He revealed in previous analyses that the recent XRP rally marked Wave 1, noting that XRP will face a correction that would drop it to a price between $0.38 cents and $0.42. Cents. He dubbed this wave too. The latest XRP correction battered the asset to a seven-week low of 41 cents, hitting the correction target and confirming the completion of wave two. According to Dark Defender, XRP's next target destination is enshrined in wave three, which should take XRP to a range between 89 cents and $1.42. Moreover, the analyst called attention to XRP's RSI. The RSI indicates whether an asset is overbought, too expensive or oversold, too cheap, based on recent price changes. Dark Defender disclosed that the daily RSI for XRP is oversold, which means that XRP may be undervalued or too cheap. In addition, he highlighted that the weekly RSI for XRP is moving close to the support level. An RSI near support suggests that the asset is hitting oversold levels. It also suggests a potential price rebound, as buyers historically enter at such levels to prevent further falls. Should XRP experience a price rebound, Dark Defender asserts that it would kickstart Wave 3, leading to a short-term price between $0.89 cents and $1.42. The analyst noted that Wave 3 might kick in this summer, between late June and late September, but this is uncertain. However, in an analysis last month, he disclosed that the short-term target of $1.42 will serve as the predecessor to the Grand Wave 3, which should usher in the ultimate price target of $3.47 in a few weeks' time. So we come to the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere, guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.